Heyo, it's me Nelly, Persona 5, fan game, role reversal AU, I got that Persona 5 bucket hat on, that's how we're doing it, I don't care if it looks dumb, I don't care, nobody watches me anyway, it's fine, it's fine, so we got the, we got the Persona 5 hat on, so we're gonna do to play a game, yeah, I wanna, I wanna finish it today, <laughs> uh, load, load here. Oh, this was a cute, this was a cute little way. Okay, this is a cute little, little stabbing point for me, but okay. Um, Morgana stands up and stretches, yawning in the way that makes Catmaw looks three times as big as he do. So it's like... Ow! Uh, what are you doing here this late? You, get, you guys must both be tired. Watching the truly atrocious Featherman OVAs. The OVAs? How can you stand having those in your house? They're an important piece of Featherman history, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I, snipe. I sniped them at an auction for a steal. Wanna watch with us, Mona? The story might be smooth burning trash, but being on there is total away from material with those twin tails. <laughs> How dare you? I'm not that shallow! <laughs> I- <laughs> I am! <laughs> oh, are we getting a little bit of a bisexual Futaba? Cause I'm here for it. I flopped down at the sofa while Futaba sets to the DVD player. Morgana climbs onto my shoulders after a moment of trying to look aloof, and Galactic Ranger Featherman Q, Episode 1, unfortunately, begins playing. Shh! I want to do the OP! The opening is extremely catchy, and it fills me with a deep dread that I'm going to end up enjoying this. Five minutes later, my eyes are already glazing over, so at least I don't have to worry about that. Morgana clambers down on my shoulders to curl up on my lap, waiting for a lull in Futaba's monologuing about the finer points of Feather Annie lore. Hey, Goro, you okay? What? What wouldn't I be? Up. Oh, I was kind of acting like a jerk today. I mean, Ryuji and Amamiya were way worse, but yeah, I changed the name. I changed the name. We don't have to talk about. We don't have to talk about this. We're gonna stand up, looking me straight in the face. Uh, I know, but well, I think you're a really good leader. I mean, obviously you are because I picked you and everything. But it's like obviously because I said so. But like. <laughs> I sigh and scratch him under the chin. He doesn't even bristle at it. Oh, Soft and catchy. I'm here for it. I just wanted everyone to stop arguing. You don't have to make such a big deal out of this. Futaba elbows my arm. I think you're a good leader too, dude. Oh, look, you put Riduka to shame. Duka's disgrace to the feather red name. <laughs> yeah, you're more like the eagle. Not Hawk. No one's as cool as Hawk. Morgana nudges his head into my hand and lets me pet him as I return to my feather Annie induced stupor. During a particularly lengthy chunk of filler, I realize Futaba's commentary has come to a complete stop. Aww, she is she asleep! She's sleepy! She's sleepy, aww! She's hippie. When I turn to look at her, she's tipped over on her side fast asleep. Futaba? Futaba? Morgana yawns again. Uh, today was rough. She must be wiped out. I give her shoulder a gentle shake, but he doesn't budge. Futaba, you need to go home. Wow, she's really out cold. I already know when Futaba's asleep, she's asleep, but it doesn't stop me from trying a few more times to rouse her to no effect. Finally, I had no choice but to give up and just put a blanket over her, hoping for the best. It really is like her batteries right now. Just help me figure out a way to explain this to chiefs that won't get me kicked out. I can feel the weight of Sojiro's judgment resting squarely on my shoulders before I'm even all the way down the stairs. Futaba sinks down behind me close enough that she can hide behind my back at a moment's notice, but far enough that it doesn't look like she's trying to stay close to me. Uh, good morning, boss. Uh, morning, Sojiro! Sojiro gives a heavy sigh and stirs the pot of curry on the stove. Whoa, that was one serious who boy. Uh, you, t you two had better not make a habit of this, alright? I don't want to give you a curfew. I don't want to have to give you a curfew for top of all. That doesn't mean I'm okay with you staying out with a boy all night. I was just having a blong. And it wasn't with a boy. I was a Goro. <laughs> oh my god, trans Goro confirmed. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, I'm... You know what? Do your head kids. Make, make anybody... Make any of the characters queer. Make them queer. I don't care. I don't care. To get back at Alice for being homophobic. Anyway. <laughs> Which is why you're not in trouble. And you. I didn't do shit. I'm gay. Hey, I'm gay. I wouldn't have done nothing. I raised my hand like he might have drawn a gun on me. Uh, I try to wake her up. Kid, I know he can stop you from, well, being teenagers. Futaba climbs on one of those stools and buries her face in her hands. This is not happening right now. I <laughs> know she's getting the talk. 
I'm just saying, as a man, you have to be responsible, especially as your situation. I'm sure there's little not taking your side if you get food top in any trouble. And the last thing you need is to deal with any accidents. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That won't happen, I swear. I swear, that won't happen. Futaba literally falls out of a chair. I can't see my own face, but I think my expression of my abject horror probably matches hers exactly. <laughs> Ew, Sojiro, no! Boss, it really, it's, it is really, really not like that. Ew, he's a brain bleach. No, nope. Futaba's a good friend, but I swear I'm not at all interested in her in any other way. Sojiro, why would you even imply that? Ew, gross, gross, gross. The people like kissing my brother. I promise that I, uh, you're what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Ah, just get out of here. You feel like for school, <laughs> little bro. <laughs> little bro. Little bro. I turn to Sojiro. Hope you can see the plea for mercy in my eyes. All right, all right. I get the idea. Come on, kid. Can you blame me for being worried? I understand, but you don't have to worry about that at all, ever. Have a nice day. <laughs> Mona, heal me. I've been afflicted with despair. <laughs> what are you talking about, Fatava? Not to worry about it. Oh, hi, Red. Oh, you're here. Amamiya slides up next to me as I wait for the next train, and apparently spared from the crushing obligations of celebrity status to go to school like the rest of us today. I can feel the shifted waves were gonna dig themselves deeper into my bag. Uh, I thought I was running late, but it looks like I made it. Whoa, you had a rough morning. Make sure, making sure everything's okay. I look so stupid. <laughs> I don't care though. I don't care. I don't care. This is how I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> I think everything's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A long story. I hope it's not because of yesterday. What would it be? Mommy gives me an unmistakable are you serious right now look? Not you two. Why are you being shocked that I'm concerned? You shouldn't have to take the fall like that. It doesn't really matter. I got you all to calm down. I just can't believe none of us, none of the others stood up for you. Shut up! Okay, shut up. I mean, I'm not likable. <laughs> shut up! You shut up! Okay, I Akira, you're a gender envy? That does not stop you from being a bitch. They shouldn't have to let you blame yourself like that. Not when that was. Well, my fault, along with Morgana and Sakamoto. I didn't hear you standing up for me either. Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Only because you cut me off before I could. You even Takamaki san and Okumura san. What are you getting at? I'm a size running a hand through his hair. Somehow it still looks perfectly styled as by the time he's. <laughs> God. God. Uh, I hope. I know you well enough to know that this is bothering you more than you want anyone to realize. I'm sorry for how I acted, but that's not the kind of thing you just make make up to win a fight. Maybe I'm better bullshit. Maybe I'm a better bullshitter than you realize. Maybe it'd be better for you if you didn't worry so much about what they think of you. If they don't, not even willing to defend you where it counts. Okay, this is not a. It's it's kind of this is this is kind of like a dating sim because I'm on my way to date this man. Akechi's on his way to date this man. Akechi's on his way to date this man. They're gonna have a wonderful life together in the in the countryside. They're gonna just have cats because Morgana's gonna be long fucking dead by then. That's my opinion. I think Morgana's gonna fucking die, and that's gonna be, <laughs> bro. What if Morgana? What if in the future they'd be like, be like, oh, it's fine. We're living our life. Morgana, Morgana died because he's a cat. <laughs> no, what if he gives up his life to be just a normal cat? Ah, bro, I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna save that just in case it does happen. Where it's like, <gasps> Morgana made a sacrifice. He's no longer magical. He's now just a cat who doesn't talk. But he still thinks, like, whatever. That's fine. My train pulls into the station while well, my brain is still catching up to how I should respond to that. And Mia gives me a breezy wave. See, it's tonight, catch son. Am I recording this time? Thank God. <laughs> he leaves me standing there, stunned for a moment before I remember I do need to get on that train before it leaves me behind. Morgana pokes his head out of my bag once Mia's done, gone, huffing. That was a pretty rude thing to say. Well, at least he apologized. I guess... By some miracle, I managed to get a seat on the train, but I was in too much of a rush in the morning to remember to bring a book. With Morgana's prying eyes safely inside my bag, I ended up scrolling through Amamiya's blog all the way to, to Aoyami Chome. 
Uh, a morning of threatening gray, gray skies finally turns to rain around lunchtime. I end up s- eating lunch with Haru and Makoto in the cafeteria rather than eating on the roof while, while Makoto pretends she disapproves. Uh, Haru, have you been getting enough sleep? Your complexion isn't looking good. Uh, it's okay, Michael chan It's just nerves, I think. Uh, we're going to secure the infiltration route today, aren't we? That's the idea. Yusuke says he can have the calling card ready tonight, so if everything goes according to plan, we can take the treasure tomorrow. I wonder if it's really going to be okay. One argument is going to get in the way of what we need to do. Well, you can't really say it was one argument. Makoto? She has a point, Goro-kun. She folds her hands in her laps and stares at her benthol. I can't help but feel like I'm the reason for how things have been lately. It's not your fault. Haru shakes her head. I don't have any hard, hard feelings toward you, Goro-kun, but I'm not sure Ryuji-kun feels the same way. I don't want you to keep fighting because of me, certainly not when it could cause problems for the others. He's always been protective- oh, he's- he has always been protective of you. Like, I didn't know that. Like, I wasn't around from the beginning, too, when she needed to be protective. I rip a piece of my bread a bit more aggressively than I mean to and feed it to Morgana, staring at me wearingly. Maybe we're all worrying too much about what Ryuji thinks, then. Hey, leave my boy alone! Of course, it doesn't mean like I'm growing a second head. What? Doesn't seem like we can make it 48 hours without getting into a fight about something. He's not gonna sabotage his palace, not, not without stakes, so why bother? If we can keep it together as a team, we don't have to be friends. Oh, Akechi! Akechi, you want friends! You want those, those relationships in your life! You want the platonic and the romantic! That's what you want, bro! You want those connections! You want it! Stop saying you don't! Ah! God, when, I, when I'm playing P5R again, I'm gonna fucking cry like a bitch. I doubt it's anything that's serious, anyway. He's jealous I'm spending more time with Amamiya than him. He'll calm down once he gets over himself. As soon as- <laughs> He's been like, like, what do you mean, jealous of me? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, like, whatever, he's just jealous. He's just jealous of me because I'm spending so much time with him. And I'm like, the fuck you say? <laughs> as soon as the words are out of my mouth, I regret saying them. And Haru covering her mouth and shy only hammers home. <laughs> what an asshole I am! <laughs> Even Morgana sticks his head further out of the bag, giving me a bewildered look. <laughs> Wait, let me read it again. What's the history? He's jealous I'm spending more time with Amamiya than him. He'll calm down once he gets over himself. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of a dick move. <laughs> Goro? Why would you say something like that? Goro Kun, I know you're frustrated, but that was out of line. Uh, I know. Uh, I drag a hand through my hair. Well, I, I know. I didn't even mean it. We're gonna duck back into my bag as someone passes the table and tips of his ear just picking out past the zipper. We're all on edge, but you can't take that out on him. Or on us. You and Ryuji can are friends, Gorkun. That's why it's so hard to see you two fighting. This is really bothering you, isn't it? Oh, come on, let's be besties! Let's be besties! I turn another trick on my butt and stuff it in the bag. It doesn't matter right now. I just want to stop dwelling on this and get to the palace over with. Haru sighs softly. We all need to be able to work together for that. Morgana pokes his head up again, crumbs in his whiskers. You're the leader. If you're not on top of your game today, none of us will be. I thought you said I'm a great leader. You are normally. Shouldn't you talk to Ryuji-kun? If that doesn't turn into a, if that doesn't just turn into another fight, it, it isn't really fair to the rest of the team to like keep school, things keep going on like this. I think that things are more likely to work out between Ryuji-kun and Amamiya-kun if we go just resolve things with both of them first, Goro-kun. Is Amamiya-kun still angry? You're the only one he usually speaks to. I'm already, I'm already, already apologized. He'll be fine. But you're right. I'll figure something out before we meet at LeBlanc today. If Ryuji's still angry, at least he can get off his chest before he and Amamiya are in a room together. God, they used to be besties! They were besties! They were besties! God, it's so weird to see, like... It's, just, it's so weird to, like, to see them just, like, not... <laughs> I just... It's so weird to see them just not be friends. It's just so weird. It's just so weird that it's not happening. Uh, you should say something nice too, Mona-chan. Uh... I think Anchan would be- would be very impressed. Morgana's just flattened in embarrassment. Y you don't have to try and convince me! Just don't blame me if this makes things worse. Makoto sighs. For what it's worth coming from me, I don't think Ryuji can want to keep fighting with you either. I hope you guys are right.
Hey, best boy. <laughs> God, I just... God, my love for Yuji is so big. I just love him as a character. He's my, he's my, he's my type. He's my type. He's my type. He's my type. Got it. I want to see an old, a canon older Yuji so I can like... I want to see this boy. I want to see him older. God, because that... <laughs> that will get me going crazy. That will get me going crazy. Because... They better not make him ugly. They better not, cause I know that like people don't really, the people in uh, Japanese fans don't like him, and Af uh, Atlas uh, pertains to their Japanese audience, cause that is the biggest. But please don't make him ugly, please. I don't need that in my life. We were just hanging out around outside the gate when I followed the rest of the crowd of students out the doors at the end of the day. Staring sourly at the cloudy sky like he wants it to know he'll make a regret it if it dares to start raining again. Or maybe he's just in a bad mood in general. I double check that my umbrella's in my bag just in case and approach him. Hey, Ryuji looks down at his feet. Yo, I think we need to talk. No shit, why do you think I was waiting for you? Ah! I raise my eyebrow and lean against the wall beside him. We're both silent for a moment. Ryuji gives the sky another suspicious glare. Oh, did I skip something? Uh, about yesterday, I... I've been an ass lately, dude. What? Wait, what were you gonna say? Man, you weren't getting all angsty about it again, were you? I do not angst. Broody? You are broody! <laughs> this is supposed to be a serious conversation. I'm being serious, can you just let me talk for a second? Let's walk. Somewhere, somewhere might overhear us around here. Oh, yeah. We head off in general direction of the station, keeping a safe distance for many of the other students walking that way. I thought you'd still be angry. Ryuji shrugs, kicking at the pavement. I stopped being pissed like two minutes after we got out of there, man. <laughs> I love you! I'm like Zen now. Zen? From Mystic Messenger! <gasps> oh my God. I I'm not playing Mystic Messenger again, because... Fuck that! But Basic Messenger had- No, my first love was Rainer from Shall We Date Blood and Angels or like Angels and Devils or whatever that game was. After then, 707 was my second love. But I- no, Rainer, no, no. My first actual like real realized crush on a character was 707 from Mystic Messenger. He hit different. He was- he was- he was my, he was the, he was the love of my life, but then I forgot about my messenger, and here we are. But anyway, <laughs> okay, maybe not Zen, but I'm sorry. It ain't like I was the only one starting shit, but I still feel bad, you know. I bet Lady On put you up to this. Knock it off, Morgana. I mean, yeah, I talked to her, but it was my idea, man. I just ain't good at the feelings crap. Yeah, me neither. Ryuji shoved his hand in his pockets. I just miss how it was before sometimes, you know, when it was just you, me, and On and Haru. We're all hanging out at the same time. I feel like I could talk to you guys about anything. This is so freaking far away now, dude. What the fuck? This writing in this game is actually really good. <laughs> the writing in this fucking game is actually really good. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I was- I'm very surprised that the writing of this game is actually really fucking good. I'm like... Bro, what the fuck? The writing is... Yeah, this writing is actually like... Oh my god. Like, this feels like it would be an episode, like, actual. This feels like, God. And I, I just, I love it. I love it. I, that, I'm barely surprised, but yeah. I get home with me, I do it on purpose, but ever since you got in with us, it's like, every time we hang out, I feel like your backup plan, and you drop everything if you ask you to, you know? I miss my bro! Oh, That's not true. It kind of is, dude. It's not like I wouldn't try want to try and be cool with him if he acted like he cared but he never does man not about anyone but you yeah he's the only one that lets you see his soft side mm -hmm. and i guess maybe he had a point about okumura or whatever but you're taking his side over me and haru really hurt you know i know i get that i don't know i guess i've just kind of felt like shit this whole time that we didn't help haru out sooner anyway i know how she is you know how she is she thought her situation with her father was her was her cross to bear. Ruchi punches me in the shoulder. Dude, it only makes sense to you because you're the same way. 
Hey, so are you. I found myself actually smiling a little. How downright spiteful I felt talking about this a few hours ago. Feeling a lifetime away. How up my own ass had I been to be so bitter towards Ryuji? Of all people. Yeah! How can you hate this man? How can you hate him? He's like, I love him. I love him. I love him so much. How can you hate him? You know, it isn't that he doesn't care. Last time I talked to him, he actually seemed a bit bothered by the fact that he doesn't get along with the rest of you. He is? You're kidding me. I shrug. Maybe he's just not used to actually having to work to get people to like him. For real. And for what it's worth, I've been a bit of an ass too. Just a bit. We're gonna. <laughs> the cat's got a point. I'm not a cat! Well, that's the best I can expect from the two of them. After tomorrow, we'll be done with this damn palace and we can figure out where to go from there. But no matter what, we're a team. Agreed? I hold down my hand for a handshake. Yuji, high or low fives me instead. Looks so cute! What the fuck? Always do, even when even when you are being an ass. <laughs> we're the fan of thieves till the end. And it starts raining. And the perfect dramatic timing, the clouds finally decide to stop screwing around and start pouring on us. Morgana howls as I start digging for my umbrella. Come on, man. You won't get wet if you run, if you run fast enough. Race to the station? No way! You're on. Hey, girl! At least I'm up your bag already! Oh, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> damn, it really, like the... Damn, it really, damn, they really, damn, they're doing a really good job of me not liking Akechi, or like, Akechi, I'm not liking Joker, I'm not liking him, they're, they're doing a good job, they're just, they're, they're doing a really good job of just really switching, they're doing a really good job of it, by the way, this is like, oh my god, I was talking about it at the end, but I just want to say, this is actually, I really fucking, I'll talk about it later, but, it's good, Amamiya shows up next to LeBlanc, but quickly enough, after getting the text we didn't have to start worrying, he ghosts again. He looked uncomfortable the second he comes up the stairs, like he's bracing himself for something. Good, everyone's here. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. There's a terseness in his voice as his, as his eyes flicks to me, from Morgana to Ryuji back to me. Is everyone ready to go? We don't have time to waste. A few things first. Fox, the calling card's ready? Yes, and we'll be able to deliver it to a father as soon as we return tonight. Good. As for the mission today, I want to make sure we're all going into the right foot. It's been a lot of infighting lately. Some of the others shifting their seats. <laughs> Some of which has been my fault. Everyone has plenty of reasons to be on edge at the moment, but we can't afford not to clear the air now, now that we're this close to finishing this. Amamiya grips the back of my chair. So, to anyone I have, well, been a dick to recently, I apologize. Yeah, uh, Yuji stretched his leg out of the table, avoiding everyone's eyes. Uh, I know I've been starting a lot of shit, too, and that ain't cool of me, either, so, uh, I'm sorry for that, too. To you, Crow, and I guess Mona, and, uh, the you YouTube Joker. YouTube Joker. <laughs> oh, God! I don't- oh, Fuck, I love- oh, Fuck, I fucking love this. Same to you. I already told Crow, sorry for how I acted yesterday. He grabs the back of my chair with his other hand. I know I was pretty. I know I pretty much forced my way onto the team into the first place. It wasn't my place to argue with you the way I did, and I promise it won't cause you any more trouble like that. The last thing I ever want to do is between you all and your leader. Well, he suddenly changed his tune. I wonder if he means it or. How are you clears your throat before anyone else can respond either way? Uh, excuse me, but there's something I'd like to say to Joker as well. Uh, the floor is yours. I've been worried about this for a while now. I'm afraid you've been doing a bad job making you feel unwelcome welcome as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Sorry? Whatever the circumstances, we agreed unanimously to work together. And you've been with us nearly as long as Oracle has. But we've still been treating you as an outsider rather as a teammate. As, or as our leader's good friend. Omiya well, looks more genuinely taken aback that I've seen him in a long time and I'm, and I'm sure my face must match. Nor has a point. Whatever differences we had, you're one of us. Aside from our leader, we have been keeping you at arm's length. It's not like he was trying that hard either, though. They go back and forth for a while, leaving both Amami and I watching in bemused silence. When I glance at him, I want to figure out if he thinks I put them up to this and how much damage control I have to do. Oh, that's so cute! That is so cute! <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. Oh, my heart. Oh. That is so cute. It's like, 
god, you guys are being nice to me. What is this? He's like, I've never experienced this before. Everyone's usually nice to me because I'm hot and on TV a lot, but you guys actually want to be my friends. God, this is so good. His face is actually slightly flushed. I clear my throat, stopping everyone to, uh, out of their discussion. Uh, we're a bit on time here. Up, oh, up, oh, oh, sorry, Crow. I appreciate the concern, everyone, but I haven't really minded how things have been. Uh, don't you feel like? Don't feel like you have to treat me differently. Right. Well, what we need to worry is worry about the treasure. And if Okuma really is the one behind the mental shutdowns, there's a chance we could run into the Black Mask before we finish here. You're the Black Mask. N not a big one, but something to be ready for. <laughs> You can only hope we'll get a chance to rip that mask right off his face. Optimistic as always. Is everyone ready? The rest of the Phantom Thieves and all nod their agreement. Futaba shoots me a thumbs up. Let's make like an egg and scramble! <laughs> Reference! We secure a route without any more disasters, thankfully. Security has relaxed, and even though there aren't that quite as many shadows trying to pick us up on their own way, though. Though the ones we wanted to make me regret not spending a bit more time training up in mementos when we had the chance. I'll make a few coffees to replenish what we go through today, take a shower at the bathhouse, and fall asleep the second I'm in bed. Less than four hours later, I jerk awake to my text notification, going off three times in a row at full volume. It stores Morgana awake at the same time. Huh? What's going on? What is it? Morgana paused at my chest while I try and blink the sleep from my eyes enough to actually see my phone. Actually, my vision focuses that I can see them notification from Mamma Mia. What does he want? I've been the message squinting at the sudden bombardment of bright red. <laughs> you up. <laughs> you up. <laughs> you up. <laughs> are, you, are you awake? Catch you, son. This guy just actively flirting with us. Oh my god, he's just a flirt. I catch you, I catch you, senpai. I checked the clock. It's nearly two a.m. Why the fuck are you calling me senpai at two in the morning? Lol, very cute. Sorry if I woke you. You're not sorry at all, are you? You caught me. I lie back and groan. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Who says something's going on? I just want to text a person I want to talk to at two o'clock in the morning. I'm going back to sleep, good night. He starts typing and stops several times. Can we meet somewhere? Now? At 2 in the morning. Yeah, it's important. Why? What do you, like, want to say to me? <laughs> oh, God damn him, I'm considering it immediately. Morgana wants to be able to see in my face because he lays down flat on my chest as, he, as if to hold me there. <laughs> you must be exhausted from the palace today. You need your rest. Why can't wait until morning? I don't know. Oh my god, he's so. Oh, I, I love. I love. I love the portraits. It's so cute. I stand up when Morgana yells as he falls off me. Hey! I start pulling off my pulling out my clothes and getting dressed, running through a mental list of places I could actually go to at this time of night. Taxi is going to be expensive no matter where it is, but I don't mind the idea of Amamiya owing me one. Jazz Jin and Kichijoji. Got it. What? Seriously? You're actually going? I slip on my glasses. He wouldn't call me at this time of night if it wasn't important. Stay here, will you? Me alone at this late at night is kind of suspicious. You know I hate to do this, but you leave me no choice. As leader of the Phantom Thieves, I'm ordering you to stay here and hold down the fort while I meet Amamiya. Understand? Hey, you can't order me around! I found you, remember? <laughs> yeah, your mistake. See you later. I can hear Morgana complaining all the way down the stairs, but he doesn't follow me out of the cafe. Amamiya is waiting outside Jazz Jin when I arrive, hands in his pockets and head pulled down low over his eyes. He's slouching like he's trying to make himself smaller, harder to see. Hey, he nods at me. I'm surprised this place is open at this time of night. We only have another hour. I glance at my phone to double check the time, give or take. I really shouldn't keep you out longer than that anyway. It is really late. Maybe you should have thought of that sooner! <laughs> I'll put you back to the taxi. Don't worry about it, I'll make it back to my mentos once we have a second to breathe. Aw, oh, the jazz club. <laughs> Move ahead and catch a sight of us as we get in the door. What are you doing here this late? Amamiya looks at me to explain even though he's the one who called me out in the first place. Sorry, we'll be out before closing, but it's important. Is there anywhere private my friend and I can talk? Mustin stares at me for long enough that I start getting antsy, but eventually his expression softens. 
Whatever mental calculation he was doing checked out in my favor. There's a table in the back. I'll get you kids something to drink. Thank you, sir. It isn't that I never heard Amamiya be polite before. He's plenty polite to Sojiro. But there's something guarded about his voice. Something that sets me on edge. There are many people who still hear this slate, and even the drunk patriots are usually attempt to be rowdy. Other than the slightly tiny music over the speakers, it's quite the table movement shows us to, letting us enjoy our drink in peace. Are you gonna tell me what this is about? Sorry, I must have freaked you out, huh? Would you be annoyed if I told you I just needed to s I just- <laughs> I needed to see you. The romance. The romance. It's definitely there. The romance is definitely there. That sounds like a bad joke. Driving me halfway across the city in the middle of the night just to see me? And maybe something more? But he certainly doesn't seem like he's pulling my leg. Uh, Mamiya, what's going on? <laughs> I didn't really think this through. He says it to himself quietly enough that it's hard to hear him. I've been dealing with some work problems recently. Things are going to be pretty going pretty badly for me, actually. I guess he can see the moment of incredul incredulity on my face as much as I try not to show it. Nothing public. It's just something I can I can talk about. It's not really something I talk about in depth either. But oh shit, I don't really I don't really know where production life is going in anymore. I bet you could say I'm at a point where I don't really know what direction my life is going in anymore. That might sound stupid, but he taps his fingers on the rim of his glass. It sounds like I feel like our lives are meant to be completely different. <laughs> yeah, like you switch places. Like, oh god, wait, what was the game? Wait, is this the game? Oh wait, what the fuck is it? It was be like if. No, wait! I'm gonna fucking cry, stop! Fuck, I'm gonna cry, actually, wait. I'm, I'm actually tearing up right now, wait. If, like, a Kenshi met Joker in the canon world, if a Kenshi met Joker in, like, the real world, like, just, like, a little bit sooner, just, like, sooner than he did, I feel like he could've, like, things could've been different. But, oh my god, I'm, I'm crying! If, I, if I'm tearing up at a, at a fan game, I'm gonna be a mess replaying the game. Oh my god. Oh my god. God. I just think it just things just worked out a little differently. I feel like um Akechi wouldn't have been dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I'm tearing up right now thinking about it. Oh my god. That we went to meet meet a different way on different paths. I thought you didn't believe in predestination. Sometimes I wonder though. I don't suppose the illustrious leader of the Phantom Thieves ever feels that way. I take a swig of my drink. I suspect the word wary anti hero aesthetic I was trying to convey is damped by the fact that it's lab green soda rather than whiskey. You'd be surprised. How do you deal with it? Try and believe that this path is the right one, I suppose. Hmm. He falls silent for a few moments, swirling his straw in his drink and staring out over the club. Do you? Hmm? Believe in what you're doing. That this is really just. Getting cold feet? That's not an answer, Ketchisan. I certainly believe everyone whose hearts we change needs to be stopped. You agree with that, don't you? So far. I take another long sip of soda. What are you getting at? You know it's not always that simple, right? Yes, I'm a Mia. I'm not five years old. Then you know there's more to what we're doing than taking down evil adults to protect their poor innocent victims. And they're probably the victims who are guilty of crimes on their own. Some who might have distortions greater than the people taking advantage of them. Plays, palaces of their own, even. Sometimes terrible people just use each other. What good would it be to change someone's heart to save someone just as bad as they are? Hmm. Interesting. That would be interesting. an interesting kind of thing to go into. Um, kind of like... Uh, of like, be like... Be like their victims are just shitty people. You're just saving shitty people from shitty people. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like there's like this is kind of like something. Maybe I I can't really formulate how it is in my head. I have an idea of what I want to say, but I can't really articulate it. But I feel like it'll be something to look into a future game, which. <laughs> Persona 5, how many, how many fucking, how many spinoffs? Dancing, scramble, this, 
Tactica. Three, there's three. Um, Spinoffs. How many did Persona? Persona 4 had. Uh, four! Persona 3 had. Persona 4 had three with dancing arena. Technically, arena. Technically, four! So, you know. I just need one more game to finish off a catchy story. I need that game, like, really bad. I need that. It glances at me sideways. Is this still justice without a hero and a villain? Ah, oh, shit, I gotta save. I gotta save. Boop. Everyone deserves justice. I'm not kind enough to say that! No! No! I wanna say that! No! Okay. I stare down at my drink, not sure what to say. So in my new game plus, I'm picking that option. I couldn't give a sh a carte blanche answer, carte blanche answer to answer, answer every possible situation we could come across. Every possible permutation of right and wrong, victim and oppressor. It feels like he's just fishing for whatever he wants to hear. Of course, there are some people who wouldn't be worth changing a heart for. Of course, someone could be a victim in one aspect and a worthy target in another. Like I said, I'm not a child. I know probably better than he does that the world is all of his heroes and villains. Yeah. God, I really want to make a- I really want to talk about what I think of this and what could be an interesting angle to, like, kind of look at it from. But I, I just- it's just- the way of thinking about it is not coming to me, but I'll- I'll think of it one day. I don't even think I am a hero, honestly. Mia ex exhales slowly, twisting his hat in his hand. That's what I thought. I didn't say anything. He smiles at me, but there's something grim about the expression. You don't have to. It was a rhetorical question anyway. Mamiya? Sorry for wasting your time, especially at such a ridiculous time of night. How much it was for the taxi? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mamiya, listen to me. He pulls out his wallet and steps on a handful of bills that could pay for my way to Kichijoji back another three times over. For the drinks, too. I'll be ready I'll be ready for the pass tomorrow as soon as you call me, so. Ren! I grab his wrist and he starts to get Give me a little kiss! <laughs> It stuns him enough to s when it, that he sits right back down. What's going on with you? He starts to be like I'm the one being absurd here. I told you. You barely told me anything. You say things are going badly and then you start asking questions like that? There's nothing else. There's really nothing else I can say, Goro. He says my, he says my first name like an insult. That's my stomach flip. I needed some perspective. And you gave it to me. Thank you for that. He snatches his arm back and stands up, putting his hat back on. The conversation is obviously over that I that I can't even find the energy to argue. You better be ready tomorrow. If you don't show, we're going in without you. I'll be there. You don't have to worry, catchy son. That ship sail, sailed a taxi ride and a horribly uncomfortable conversation ago. Um, Mia, you can talk to me. If you're in some kind of trouble, when he looks at me again, then I have the strangest feeling he pities me. Good night, catchy son. I'll see you tomorrow. Turns on his heel and leaves without another word, and I finish my drink alone. By the time I get back to Leblanc, I'm so exhausted that Morgana doesn't even have the chance to question me before I collapse into bed. I ended up falling asleep the second my head hits the pillow. Hmm. I'm just trying to resist the urge to shut off my alarm and go back to sleep when my phone starts to ring. It wakes me up fully, if not happily, and I manage to get myself early enough to see Haru's number on the display and pick up. <laughs> uh, Akechi is speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? I was just getting up anyway. For the sake of Haru's conscience, I suppress a groan as I drag myself out of bed. Hell, if I ever let Amamiya call me out that late after a palace again, especially if he wants to be so cryptic about it. My father received a calling card this morning. He certainly seemed to take it seriously. Good. We'll head in first thing after class is let out. Of course. But, um... What is it? He turned over the calling card to the police right away. I'm afraid we might run into difficulties. Shit. What's going on? I held my phone to my shoulder while I pull out my pants. Well, we'll just have to work quickly. If anything happens, you know what to do. Yes. Hard pauses for a moment. Gorakun, I think it would be for the best if the others don't know that my father involved the police for now. I'm afraid it's waiting on everyone's mind. I understand. After we're sure it's done then. Thank you. Of course. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? After this is done, let's all get together for a little celebration. I think it would be good for everyone to have some fun together. Yeah, that sounds good. So it's cool, Haru. Yes, I'll see you then. Hang up and finish changing into my uniform. 
What was that about? Nothing. Heart just confirmed about the calling card. Something was wrong, though. Just that Okumura was pretty pissed about it. Harry's worried he'll have a hard time with the security level. But we gotta weigh in close enough to the treasure that we'll be fine as long as we're careful. Okay. Well, I hope you're not too tired from going out with Ren. Of course not. I can't afford to be. Okumura himself is the only thing standing in our way now. Maybe I shouldn't be surprised that Haru's idea of a modest celebration is renting out an entire theme park for the night. Her idea of a reasonable amount of money to spend on her friends has always been odd. It's funny to imagine that we could have been like that in a world where my father had had given slightly more of a shit. <laughs> me and reminds me of her that way sometimes. Um, Mia also once again isn't here. More than half an hour after we were all supposed to meet. I can see he's getting at least getting my text this time, but trying to call him more directly to voicemail. How long are you going to stand around for? Maybe we should just head in and tell him where, where we are when he shows? You go on ahead, I'll wait. Carl could. Wait, I think I see him! I immediately turned towards the gate, like, oh! I think he's right there! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's like that. <laughs> he has like a stupid, derpy face, I say. <laughs> I immediately turned around the gate, and sure enough, Amelia is practically sprinting towards us, still dressed in his school uniform. I see a black car parked in the street behind him. Uh, s sorry, I came as fast as I could. I just got here from the police station, something serious came up. W what happened? He looks paler than usual, a sheen of sweat on his face that's more obvious than I expect from running such a short distance. He looks all over us, the expression just gets more tense as he does. You don't know yet? Of course he wouldn't be here if... Know what? I'm a Mia-kun, what's wrong? I don't know if I should be the one to... Howard's phone starts ringing in her purse before he can finish the sentence. You should sit down before you answer that. Anne leads hard to a bench and she fumbles for her phone. Hello? Yes, this is Akurama speaking. I'm sorry? All the color drained out of Haru's face, her face going slack. There must be some mistake. I just saw him this morning. He was... I squeezed onto the bench. I squeezed onto the bench with Haru on the other side. Not sure what to do with my hands. Morgana climbs out of my bag to sit on my lap, his paws on her leg. Her shoulders are shaking. Haru? Yes, I understand. I had a chance to glance at Mamiya, standing between over us with his head down, expression barely visible beneath his bangs. Yes, I'll come there right away. It Thank you for informing me. Haru hangs up and stares blankly in her lap. I... I'm sorry. And I puts her arm around Haru's shoulders. Haru, what happened? My... my father... my father is dead. He committed suicide. I think the others are trying to subdue their shot, but I'm too distracted by my own heart leaping into my throat to pay attention to them. This is what the police believe. Given how they found him, it couldn't really have been anything else. Do they have any idea why? Pressure from all the scandals, maybe. He certainly doesn't sound convinced. Hey, when Kamoshida, you know, when he changed his heart, he talked about wanting to. Heart makes a noise somewhere between a hiccup and a sob. Muji, why would you say that? Perhaps it's for the best we don't discuss this in front of Akumura san. There's nothing we can really say to make this better, but at least I can tell you that the police don't suspect the fan of the involvement in this. If nothing else, Haru rubs firstly out of her eyes and stands up. I, I need to call my driver. I'm going back to the station as well. You can come with me. I need to go home first. W won't it be a crime scene? I can go with you. Or me. No, it's fine. Thank you. I'd really rather go by myself. Har Haru. Oh, Kamura san, I'm not sure that's a good. Please just leave me alone! Wait, Haru! Haru takes off before we can get a warden. Catch Ryuji's arm and he tries to run after her. I want to do that right now. Hey, Mona, you don't think that we. This is Toru's dad, do you? Well, well, if someone felt guilty enough for their crimes after their heart was changed. But everyone's really guilty so far. None of them actually run that far. Once they accepted their shadow, it probably wouldn't have happened anymore. I think. Thanks, Mona. I need to, back I need to get back to the station. I probably got away as it is. I'll let you all know as soon as I know anything more and if I see a Kumara-san as well. Keep an eye on her if you can. Uh, Amamiya nods and heads back towards the gate, leaving the rest of us behind. Is Haru really gonna be okay? I don't know. Morgana hops back from the bench and rubs his head against Futaba's legs. Let's go- let's go home, guys. Haru doesn't come to school the next day. Our homeroom teacher tells in the morning that she'll be absent for several days to deal with her father's affairs. 
She also discouraged anyone from spreading any rumors, which I'm sure does exactly nothing to stop anyone from gossiping. Not, not that I can focus till enough to listen to any of it. I can't even bring myself to check how the Phantom Thieves fans and detractors are reacting. Amamiya confirms in our group chat that the police are still not interested in the Phantom Thieves as suspects. That still comes at a little consolation and the chat is silent for the rest of the day. The day goes by in a blur. I don't even go bother taking to the roof for lunch. I doubt Makoto does either. I almost feel like I'm sleepwalking by the time I'm my way to the shoe lockers to get my things and leave. Bro, girl! Morgana hisses at me. Hey! Huh? Didn't you hear me calling you? I shake my head. On a sighs and grabs my arm, pulling me off into a less occupied part of the hallway. What is it? What do you think? I'm going to see Haru and you two are coming with me. That's a great lady! I push Morgana back to my bag. He pops out again a second later, grumbling. What makes you think she even wants to see us? She has every reason to think we just ki- I cut myself off, lowering my voice to a whisper. Killed her father. Maybe we should give her some space. You don't believe this what happened, do you? No, but she might. Then I want to know that. Aunt tilts her head back and blinks a few times, taking a shaky breath. It takes me a second to realize she's trying not to tear up. I can't make you come with me, but I'm just not leaving her. Harvey's my friend. If she wants to be alone, she can tell me that, but she can tell me why. But she can tell me why, but I'm not going to do nothing. Not this time. Uh, oh. Lady on's right. I think we should. I think we shouldn't leave Haru alone either. Yeah, I understand. You'll come. I should have your back as the leader. You know, you could just admit you're worried about her too. If she really wants us to leave, we leave. Deal. Deal. Haru. It's us, me and Goro. Me too! I turn to Morgana's in view of the camera. And Morgana, there's a sniffle from the other end. Anchan, Goro kun. We came to see you. That's all right if you're on up to visitors. Just let us know in. Uh, no, it's okay. Um, one moment. The large gate opens, letting us pass. Haru was waiting at the front door when we finished the nerve wrecking trek past all of Kumura's security. Her face is blotched. She seems slightly hesitant to let us inside, but she still shows us the way to the halls to a luxurious sitting area. Uh, please sit down. Um, I can make some tea. Oh, you don't have to do that. It's okay, Haru. Um, how are you feeling? I know that's probably a stupid question. Haru sits down between An and I. I set my bag down and let Morgana climb up to curl up on Haru's lap, presenting himself to be petted like a real cat. I'm fine. Or, well... Haru? Morgana nudges his head into Haru's hand. I just keep wondering if there's any way I could have stopped this if I'd been here. Haru, this isn't your fault. You know that. You, that you didn't do this, right? I know. Mor Morgana even said, huh? Haru shakes her head. I don't believe that we caused my father's death. In fact, I'm sure that someone else must be behind it. I'm a little taken aback of how empath em empath em emphatic she is. What'd you find out from the police? My father, he... Haru takes a slow breath. I can see her steadying herself. He shot himself. The policeman had shook show me the gun, but I've never seen it before. I don't even know how he would have gotten a real gun in the first place. I don't think he ever had any interest in hunting, and it was a handgun. I looked it up, and it was the same kind of gun policemen use. How could he have something like that? Do you think the police planted it or something? Haru shakes her head. I don't know. If your father was involved in the mental shutdowns, it's likely enough that he might have his connections to someone who kind of got in a gun in secret. No, you don't understand. If Even if he could, if my father wanted to kill himself over his guilt after we changed his heart. Oh, right, then he would have gotten a gun in time to just... Yeah. But I mean, if he already had it for a while... Haru shuts her eyes and swallows hard. Sorry, I know this must be really hard to talk about. No, I'm okay. We're gonna purr sadly in her lap. Whatever illegal activities my father was taking part in, this, doesn't, this just doesn't seem like him. I don't know how else to explain myself. What did the police tell you? Well, they haven't found a note yet. The police took everything out of my father's office to look for one, and they think he must have. And they think he must have left one. With the other changes of heart, they seem to want to apologize for the victims as soon as possible. That's true. Even if it was his plan, it's strange that he wouldn't have made some kind of public statement first, or left a more obvious note. It's pretty con convenient that he died right before he would have been able to expose whatever he was working for he was working with. Maybe they took everything to make sure Haru wouldn't see anything? Like, if he was a note and said something about the mental shutdowns? 
Or if there was a note at all, they need time to find one. Like, what happened to Futaba's mom? Wait, do you think they're going to try and pin this on the Phantom Thieves, do you? Ho shakes her head. The police haven't seen anything about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's go continue. He turned the calling card over to the authorities as soon as he caught it. I was certainly accused of Phantom Thieves right away. Maybe they're just keeping that part of the investigation quiet, but still. Where I could follow the train of thought much further, a stern-looking man in a black suit opens the door. Excuse me for ignoring your business, Mr. Kumara. He casts a look at us. In my unkempt hair and his blonde pigtails, a short skirt, and Morgana's general existence in the house, he tells me exactly what he thinks of our business. There's urgent call for you, if you please come with me. I'm sorry, I hope this won't be long. No, it's alright. We'll get going. Text me. Text us if you need anything. Oh, Haru, okay? Haru gently places Morgana down on the sofa and stands up, dusting off her skirt. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's so cute! That's so fucking cute! Anne sits up, considering the man for a moment, then wraps her arms around Haru in a tight hug. Haru squeezes her back, her face disappears between Anne's shoulders and her own cloud of hair. See you tomorrow? Yes, I hope so. The man clears his throat and they break apart reluctantly. He ushers Haru out of the room before we have much of a chance to say anything else. I help Morgana get back into my bag and stand up myself. She's so strong. She is. What do we do now? I'm going to see if I can get in touch with Amamiya. He'll know more about this when their cups are headed than we do. Okay, good idea. Um, you, you don't want me to come with you, right? She says a bit more meaningfully than I'd like, but I can't complain all that much. No, I'll be fine on my own. Let's get going. I text um, Mia as soon as I'm at the station. He offers me his address to suggest we talk in person before I even have to ply him at all. Maybe probably that's just because of the circumstances, but it still surprises me. It makes me think, in the back of my mind, that I should have asked something about seeing his apartment a lot sooner. I'm still a decently long walk to his building from the station. This gives Futaba plenty of time to get several texts into explanation at all the irregularities she found at her last few heights. Eventually, I tell her just call me. Pick up before you get to the first ring. Okay, you geezer, we're just getting to the good part. I believe the polite greeting is hello. Or you did that in text, like someone living in the modern era. Now, just let me explain something. This is important. I shut up and let her go on. Yeah, so the mega lame fake Medjet, right? I don't even know who exactly set up that site yet, but they didn't stop there. You know how Kumura was totally dominating the polls and getting requests all over the place? It seemed suspicious back then. Yes, because none of it was natural. Same people. People whoever was behind that fake magic cracked the pole wide open. It was getting more votes than the site was even getting hits. All the comments were coming through proxies, too. And the emails for it were just found on the site that gives you an address that self-destructs in 10 minutes. I might be able to dig back far enough to figure out a little more what the request of those addresses were all coming from. But it was like a month ago, and their server's kind of a mess, so it'll take me a bit. I catch myself rubbing her off as like she could see me. It's enough just knowing that they're fake. More importantly, what that means now. So the people who tried to lure us out with Medjed wanted to target Kumara. The whole thing was a trap. Looks like it. I mean, that makes it pretty obvious that someone had it out for him, considering. And I think we know who that's gotta be. Haru thinks the same thing. But if whoever's really behind the shutdowns pushed us to target Kumara, then killed him before we could actually confess to anything, why wouldn't they blame his death on the fan of these immediately? We incriminated ourselves enough with the calling card that they wouldn't even they wouldn't even have to try. I don't know. That kind of detectives that's kind of detective work joker's job. You're on the way to talk to him about cop stuff now, right? Yeah. Cool. Well I'm still digging, so I'll text you as soon as I find anything else. And I can have ears on you as long as I have keep your phone on. So you keep your phone on so I can hear anything juicy. Of course you can. Yeah, text me. I'll let you know what Mia tells me. KK! She merely hangs up and my phone is silent in my bag for the rest of the walk. A few minutes later, I make it to the door of Mia's building. It's a high rise, somewhat both nicer and more unassuming than I was expecting. Even though I looked up a picture beforehand. Um, Mia buzzes me in and I take the stairs to his floor, trying to to get what I want to say straight before I get to his door. I try and keep my head down in the hallway, but none of this neighbors seem to be around at the moment anyway. He opens the door before I even finish knocking, leaving me standing there with my hand in the air like an idiot. Hey, 
Hi, hi, Kachi san. Uh, sorry for intruding. You're not. I invited you after all. I take off my shoes and step into the elegant living room that, aside from its size, wouldn't have looked at a place in the Akumura house. It almost looks like a model home from a place someone lives. At a glance, I can't see anything that marks it belonging to Amamiya rather than anyone else. He must catch me looking because he smiles weirdly over his shoulder at me. That expression looks out of place considering how tired he looks. Uh, all I really do here is sleep and study, so it's kind of empty, I know. I didn't say anything. I moved to sit down on one of the backs of sofas. Amamiya glances at my bag. Did you bring Morgana with you? Uh, no, he doesn't really like coming along when we meet up. Hmm. He slides my bag off my shoulder and sets it down for me. The gesture roots me to the spot. My heart suddenly louder in my ears. Oh my goodness. Why don't we talk in my room? Uh, it'll feel like less of a business meeting. Wait, how many endings are there? I, I just fucking forget. I fucking forget how many endings are there. How many fucking end? I always forget how many endings are there. Four different endings. Four different endings. Okay, so it's gonna be a bunch of more CGs, which I'm here for. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm just eating because I'm like. Oh, Mia grins and nods to the hallway past the small kitchen, and my legs likely to start to start moving again. Straight down there. His room at least looks a little more like a real person lives there. Not everything's perfectly in pace. The bed has been made. There's even manga on the books on a shelf. I pull the other desk chair. It seems presumptuous to sit on his bed, and Mia follows me after a moment later. This is about the Rakuma case, right? He sits down on the edge of the bed. Ana and I went to talk to Haru today. How is she? Doing about as well as you could expect. He nods slowly. She's convinced that her father's death wasn't just suicide. And you want to know if I know more? And that's our ins you're our inside man, detective. Amamiya crosses his legs. I can't say I can't say it doesn't seem fishy. He haven't turned up a note so far, and there's no real way to guess what was going on in his head. But that's strange in and of itself. On the other hand, there's nothing really points to anything else. The cause of death was definitely a self-inflicted gunshot to the head. He can't send me like he expected me to see me flinch, but I don't. How are you sure it was self-inflicted? What, someone else shot him and made it look like a suicide? It'd be possible, wouldn't it? Easy to miss. Amiya, Amiya first gives me a look that almost makes it seem like he finds the idea amusing. I guess this is a process of elimination, mainly. He was home alone. The door to his office was locked from the inside when the police arrived. The help was all accounted for, too. Something about this seems unsatisfying somehow, but I can't really argue with him either. You know better than I would. Even if Okubura did pull the trigger, that doesn't mean there weren't any other factors involved. Could have been a setup for Taba's mother. It should have been all possible for the Black Mask to get back into his palace after we got home, though. Less supernaturally than that? Someone who had something on him? Interesting theory. Even ignoring all the mental shutdowns. The guy didn't have any shortage of enemies and shadier connections with Akum than Akumura-san. Our Akumura-san would have realized. Someone could have been blackmailing him, and the change of heart made him try and get out. I doubt the police would even look into the pole or found anything they did. They don't have Utaba. It still feels like there's an obvious gap in the entire conversation. The timing of this happening right after Akumura's change of heart. Where when he must have on the brink of spilling everything on whoever he was talking, taking out his competitors. How can he act like he's such a non-issue? I mean, Mia isn't stupid. Has he really not considered that this has to do something with us? He doesn't have Futaba's information either. I haven't told him yet, but he's still one of us. I'd have thought it would have been at least occurred to him, even if something to try and keep the police attention off of. There was has to be something I'm missing, something I can't ask to make this puzzle come together. I just have to think. About the g uh, about the gun. There's one thing Har mentioned that's still bothering me. What about the gun? What about the gun? Akumara killed himself with a handgun. It'd be illegal for him to have any other to have any other under. It'd, it'd be illegal for him to have any other, uh, under any other circumstances. But according to Haru, he never even been interested in firearms for sport. The well, lights, first shotgun, nothing. She's certain she's never owned a gun. I don't know if I'm really on the right track here, but this has to be something, doesn't it? He also clearly wasn't the type to do his own dirty work that way. 
It would be strange risk for him to take just having it. And even stranger for that to be his choice of suicide method compared to anything else. But Mia raises his eyebrows. So Kumura definitely owned the gun, the gun for some time, I can tell you that. What do you mean? The gun was a service pistol. It belonged to a policeman who was killed about a year ago. It was never found after he died. The police had already figured up and ended up, the, up on the black market. It seems to be recently a prison Yakuza member of Kumura was known to having a connection to sold him a couple months back. So far as I've heard, it only took a little questioning before he fessed up. A Yakuza member? He had dealings with one of the families for protection for a while. He paid every he paid very handsomely for the gun around the time Junior Kaneshiro turned himself in. I'm not surprised he didn't announce this to his daughter, considering I see. There's a weird sense of unease swirling in the back of my mind. Such a convenient explanation, not practical for anyone to verify without his connections. I'd probably ask Futaba to try and look into it, but why would Amamiya lie anyway? He has no reason to. On and I always suspected Okumura had the gun. Anyway, I know it's morbid to say this, but it's kind of a stroke of luck. It was only because of the gunshot they were able to get there so quickly. Something about that seems off still. This whole conversation doesn't seem right, but I can't put my finger on why. I only just opened my mouth to question him further to try and get back on topic that might get somewhere where we can hear my phone off a few times in a row. Sorry, I didn't realize I had your phone on you. You better check that. Yeah, it might be Haru. I feel Amamiya's eyes boring into my back as I back out to the living room, fishing my phone out of my bag. It's just Futaba. Hey! I can't hear anything! What are you doing in there? I look up, Amamiya's right behind me, so close he could have heard my screen if he wanted to. He's so quiet when he wants to be. I never found it creepy before. Someone should put one of those collars with a bell on it on you. <laughs> Maybe I'll take you up on that. You won't... You don't mind her booking your phone? Yeah, you saw it. <laughs> It's not, like I get, it's not like I can make her stop. Nope! Well, you can tell you can tell everyone everything I told you. I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I realized belatedly that he got his hat on and jacket over his arm. I need to head back to the station, but let's meet up tomorrow and catch you all up. On anything new I learned today. Sure, thanks for having me over. Anytime. We awkwardly part ways at the door, leading him to the elevator, me heading back to the stairs. <coughs> First thing I do once he's gone is add everyone but him to a group text to tell him. To tell them. Tell him something about the first thing I do. Oh no, it's getting cryptid. Oh no, it's getting cryptid. I do. All oh, right, all right. I forgot we were, we're remembering stuff. Oh, look at Sai. Hi, Sai. <laughs> the CG. What happened then, Akechi Kun? The rat. <laughs> he trails off, his head drooping wearily. Uh, Akechi-kun. Akechi-kun? I set my fingers in front of his face, but he doesn't react. Akechi-kun, can you hear me? Nothing. Just what's in this kid's system? His eyes don't even focus if he's not- if he's not unconscious, he's as good as. I'm sorry, but I'm out of time. If you don't have anything else to say, we're done here. Not even that gets a response. I feel a pit opening up in my stomach as I start gathering my things more slowly than I should. I hope until the last second that he's going to rally and pull together a few more lucid things to tell me something I can act on. Uh, are we- are, are we a joker right now? One more time I try- Akechi-kun! Oh wait, no, this is Sai. <laughs> this is Sai, Never mind. Considering the state he's already in, it obviously put him in. I doubt my chances of even getting someone to come look at him and make sure the OG doesn't kill him before he faces charges. The face awaiting me when I step out of the hallway is the last one! I'm expecting to see. Hmm. 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 I'm a Mia kun? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, I surprised to see me, Nijima-san? I needed my director to step in and get me across when I was directly responsible for this case. How'd you get approval? That's between me and our supervisors. It matters that I have a right to interrogate our culprit. You look like I said something horrible. You think... He'll respond better to someone familiar, you know? In the state that he's in, he's not going to be responding to anyone. You never know. He might have been malingering. Akechi-san can be very manipulative when he wants to be. <laughs> God, that's that's so true. That's like so true in the canyon. I don't like the smile on his face as he says that. I don't like anything about this. But the unfortunate fact remains that uh, Amamiya couldn't still appears to be officially on the case and I no longer am. If I interfere or even just overstay my welcome, my director's good will toward me is going to run out. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. I'm sure I will.
Oh, car. 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 Ah, fuck. Ah, cramp. Hey. Hello, this is Nijima. I know, it's been some time. I'm sorry to bother you at this time of night. I need to call in for a favor. <sighs> you know, you know I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't important. I want you to follow Red Emma Mia. Who is he call- who is she calling? WHAT DO YOU MEAN END?! WHAT?! END! No, that's not the end! What the fuck?! What do you mean? That's the end! Okay, that's one ending. We need the other ending. New game. Okay, new game. New game plus? New game plus. How do we get new game plus? Okay, skip. Okay, it's basically the same. It's probably the choices. Hopefully the choices are different. Oh, yeah, hopefully the choices are different. <laughs> uh, you're part- can I say you're part of the team? WHAT DO YOU MEAN? WHAT THE FUCK DO WE NEED?! Uh, how do I- How do I- How do I get the second ending? How do I get the other ending? Okay, I'm gonna be load load this one. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Uh, about the about the calling card. Okay, um, what about the calling card? This would be so great. Infusion. This is Bubba Kiss Me, but it's Triple Luck. The more that he did, we were soon see quickly and time to fit in while cops are securing the building. It would have been serious if they really speak target him. It's not possible. The words of my mouth before we listen to speaking. It's like my head just kind of dumped off the water. What do you mean? We also have to go into something serious. The police knew about the calling card. And didn't, I'm covered didn't have him on him anymore. If he did, it wouldn't be a main difference if you hit it. You just said that Kumar had the calling card and you hit it. He's right on the money too. Kumar getting a calling card and dying the next day? There's not that place. The police would look over that. The Phantom Thieves would have the, are public enemy number one. That would have been for the first setup of Kumar. Oh, and the only way someone would have motive to do that is to, to lie me to me about it. Maybe they had some reason to make, make a copy and give the original back. Is if they were involved in Kumara's death themselves. Oh, come on, that's bullshit and you know it. Tell me the truth, Ren. Uh, the smile on his face straining to the breaking point. I'm cracking him, I know it. And my phone goes off several times in a row. I'm going to head whips around the door. Expecting any messages? It's nothing. Probably just the group chat. He turns back to me, our eyes locking. A split second, we both dart for the door. <laughs> what? Amamiya um, beats me there, slamming it in my face behind him and giving himself a head start back to the living room. Motherfucker! Finally! Finally, we got the fuck word. <laughs> I yank the door open again and run after him. He already has my phone in his hand by the time I get there. Art's arguing on the messages that might be on screen. God, I hope it's Muhin or Sajiro or really just some crap in the group chat. Anything. Then his face completely. Oh my god! Holy shit, bro! Bro, this is new! <laughs> this is new! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god, Futaba was listening. Futaba, she was listening. Oh my shit, holy shit, dude, this is- Oh, I'm liking this. Then his face completely blank. Amamiya um, Mia drops, his, drops my phone on the hardware floor and stops out it. Bro, you owe me a couple hundred dollars, bro. That shit ain't cheap. I haven't seen him do something so abruptly violent, even if it's only a, to an object, even in the metaverse. What the fuck? Now that we're actually alone, Futaba. Of course, probably complaining that I got out of earshot. 
You're more handed than I thought. I'm not clever enough to think of an excuse to bring your bag with you, though. Looks up at my face, he's his own still earring blankly. How long have you suspected me? I try and arrange my expression to my best possible poker face. Long enough. That finally gets him to smile again, but that might actually be worse than the complete laugh of expression. Long enough, huh? Weeks? Months? <laughs> you shouldn't be going there with the whole, Oh, Joker, you're our friend, you're the part of the sh team, Sherrod. Oh, he thinks we're lying to him. I'm not lying, bitch! <laughs> the others aren't part of this, just me. And Sakura. She knew I was coming here, she didn't know why. I'm surprised. I would have thought you would have told her. And Harukumura? Of course. Don't, don't you think they deserve to know? Apparently, my poker face isn't as good as I thought. He must be able to see my confusion. Maybe you're not as smart as I thought. You're this close and you haven't figured it out yet? Figure it out? What? I'm about to finish the sentence when it all slides into place. Hear the black mask. <gasps> no! I want me a collapse. Well done! You killed Futaba's mother. You caused a psychotic breakdowns. And Okumura, you were with us the whole time in his palace. How did you... That, completely, that definitely complicates things, but he was, uh, well... Something passes over his face, it goes to the winds. Vulnerable. After we changed his heart. So guilty over what he'd done to his workers and his daughter? No. I'm good at getting people to do what I want. So it's easier with shadows, but with a good conversation, I force myself to hold my ground and not back away. It would be useless anyway, not only putting myself further away from the only exit. Not that that's gonna help me at the moment either, given that he's been between me and the, that exit. And the fact he's telling me this now means I don't think about, I don't wanna think about what it means. Whatever else Amami has done, the idea that he killed me in cold blood. All I could hope for is that he didn't do enough damage for Futaba's bug to stop recording. Negative running? That's unexpected. I always thought of our Phyllis Cedar would fight to the end. I'm not going anywhere. I'd let you. I mean, what are you gonna do? Who knows what the police are gonna find that calling card? It would take two phone calls tops for you and the rest of the Phantom teams to be wanted for murder. She shrugs. Even if you tried to go to the police, what would you tell them? That I use a smartphone app to kill people in a cognitive subway system? They'd write you off as a crazy attention seeker, and who would believe your word over mine if they did take a statement? He smiles sweetly at me. But you wouldn't go to the police anyway. That doesn't mean I can't stop you myself. Hm? It's not as if you could change my heart. I mean, it takes a step closer to me. Or do you think you can take me one-on-one? -on -one? I'll take you! Come on! Put up your dukes! Do you want to find out? You're not gonna kill me, Goro. Right now I'm angry enough that I'm starting to wonder if I could. I wonder what our friends are gonna think when you got when you get caught. I had it all planned out for months. You're cracking you'll crack an interrogation. You sell out your friends for a lighter sentence, and you'll be so overwhelmed with guilt that you'll hang yourself in your cell. I grip my teeth, swelling back a wave of nausea. I clench my hands into fists and tell myself I'll sick with anger. Not not anything more damning. That would never happen. They never believe that. It'll be the truth, the whole world to believe. And do <laughs> And do you think it's that far-fetched? Shut up! If it, weren't, if it weren't for my gloves, my nose would probably be digging into my palms enough to draw blood. Or am I the only one who knows about your mother? Shut the fuck up or I'll make you! Are you threatening me, Akechi-san? Oh, okay, I gotta save. Okay, haha, <laughs> I gotta save. I gotta save, I gotta save. I'll, sh I'll show you- I'll show you a threat. Yes! I did it! Grr! I hardly feel the crack of my fist hitting my mommy's face. Yes, I broke it! Yeah, give a fuck at those leaf, bitch! Rationally, I know I would. I know I've done it. I can see the proof that I'm right in front of me through the red fog over my vision, blood dripping through his fingers as he clutches his face. Yeah, but it doesn't feel real. Like, I'm watching a DVD of something that happened to someone else. I don't feel better. I certainly don't feel ashamed. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, another CG! Another CG! Wow, she looks really good. Um, the look in his eyes as he lifts his head instantly makes my blood run cold. <laughs> what? Oh, you really are stupid! It's like you wanted to make this easy for me. Amiya staggers towards the phone on his kitchen counter, blood still dripping down his face and shirt. That's what really steps back into reality of what I just did. Y you wanted me to do that? You attacked me in my own home. You provoked me! Who's ever going to believe you? Oh god, his eyes! His eyes! I'm the second coming of the Detective Prince, and you are and you already got one assault charge. He starts dialing a number. I'm not gonna get away with probation this time. His, my eyes dart to the door again, but where could I even run? 
Leblanc, my friends? I couldn't ask him to do that. For a second, I wonder if Muhin might have let me hide for a while, but Amiya knows about Jazz Jin too. I doubt I have time to make it to a train station and get anywhere further. And I'd be a fugitive if Amiya plays his cards right. And she will. Oh, me speaking. This is an emergency. I need you to connect me to. Unless for some miracle, Futaba's microphone is still recording. I'm trapped no matter which way I look. Even even then, I subdued him for now, but he's still dangerous. He was threatening my life if I refused to drop the Akumura case. Fuck you. Fuck you. Amamiya hangs up and pulls on a fragilely vanishing and his fragility from his face immediately. When he turns to look at me again, all I can see is contempt. Not a trace of the expression I've gotten used to with the face of the boy I started to- <gasps> Start to what? Started to what? Finish the sentence! Finish the sentence! You better finish the sentence right now! What do you mean? Start to what? Minor BL content. Like, that's not BL. It's like, it's like, okay, whatever. BL is direct. It's, it's like overt, direct. This ain't direct. You better say I love this man. <laughs> Stupid pathetic to even think to myself. I started to have a crush on this man. Fuck you. <laughs> Amiya smiles with blood in his teeth and walks right into my space. I still can't give him the satisfaction of seeing me back away. This is self-defense, you know. He kneels me. He knees me in the stomach, hard and fast, knocking the air out of my lungs and sending me to my knees. He, you were my friend. I loved you, man. I loved you. I trusted you. I thought you were better than that. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. When I look up at him, he could be a demon. A shadow. Look at yourself. Even Shido-san would be disappointed in you. Shido? I don't think there were any more ways he could pull the rug from out of me, but hearing that name in his mouth still shocks me. If you're working for Mas Ma Masayoshi Shido, are you insane? He, he has to be using you. He's forcing you to do this, isn't he? Even now, that's what you have to say? Please, Crow, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'll get- Oh, but, but- Is this- What the fuck? What in the lord? What in the- I'll give the old man your regards. Somewhere far below, I think I can hear sirens. Oh shit, Igor. So, the gate- Wait, okay, so this is a bad end, so this is before it's evil Igor, so- So- the game is over. What an unsatisfying end. What a disappointment to think you'd up, in an, as, up as an inmate out there, too. Hmm. Isn't he, Justine? Inmate. Is this really the most he could have done? Can I get New Game Plus? Please? New Game Plus. New Game Plus. Arblo, thou art I. That's why I was taking a new form. The bond that hath changed is thy first step towards uncovering the ultimate secret of this world. With the rebirth of the four persona, thou hast obtained the winds of blessing that shall guide thee on a new journey. New game plus. Yes! yes! <laughs> new game plus. Let's go! New game plus. How the fuck do I do- Yes! Okay. Skip. Let's so I can say the good stuff now. Okay, that was two endings. I gotta get two more endings. Two more endings. I got two more endings, which is fine. I'm trying to get all these endings. <laughs> Okay, you're part of the team. There we go. Yes! Finally, I'm gonna wait. I don't fucking know. But maybe there's other shit. But I don't fucking know. There's no other choices, right? Besides those two. Maybe it was these two, and then you pick a different one. I'll see. I'll see. You shouldn't talk like that. You're an important part of the team, just like everyone else. I wish I had the forethought order to drink. My mouth suddenly feels dry. We better have a love ending. We better have a love ending. I know that we don't always get along, but you're always some kind of... 
but you're not some kind of unwelcome tag-along. I hope you realize that. Amiya looks at me a long moment. I'm glad you feel that way. I sigh. But the others don't, right? Look, I'm not trying to be contrary. As far as I can tell, the only person who actually seems to have a problem with you is Ryuji. Uh. It's soft check out of the room. I don't know you're such a fan. You didn't hear from me. You know that you're sealed. And the others, you're my friend. It doesn't matter. They know you're my friend. That, that, that doesn't matter to them, you know? Friends, huh? I could say rivals if you prefer, but I may as well call it call it like it is. I think if you actually try to make friends with the rest of them, you'd fit in in no time. You have so much confidence in me. Since, why are you sensitive anyway? I thought you realized the entire teenage population thinks the sun shines on your ass right now. Pulling this whole what was me friendliness thing to the delinquent infant pariah, remember? You're far better out with people than I am. I guess I have a point. But it looks like this worked out for you in the end. Because it's either them, not me. I'm not sure about that. I never did before. Now. Save. Everyone deserves justice. That doesn't change anything. Of the people we've helped, probably plenty of them haven't been entirely innocent. It doesn't mean they doesn't deserve help if someone's taking advantage of them. I set down my drink, leaving my chin on my hand. You're right that the world isn't black and white, but I never claimed it was in the first place. Say Yusuke could have been a horrible person, it would have been, and wouldn't have made any Madarame any less deserving of have his heart stolen. You really believe that would have influenced your decision at all? What do you want me to say? I can't predict what factors would, have, would affect any possible palace we consider, but in that case, yes, I do believe that. Yusuke wasn't falling on his knees begging us to help him, you know? He defended Madarame practically right up until he wakened his persona. He was threatening to get the authorities involved at first. We were willing to do it again against his will if that was what it took because Madarame needed to be stopped whether Yusuke could see it or not. It's not about being a hero, it's about doing what needs to be done. Trace a line in the condensation of my glass. Whatever someone's done, that doesn't mean they don't deserve justice. It might change what justice is in the end, but not whether they should get a shot at it like everyone else. Omnius ace changes, but he doesn't quite smile. You really are. He trails off, looking away from me, down at his hands, and stays silent like that for several long moments. I'm what? Huh? I'm oh, sorry about that. I got a little lost in thought there. Guess I'm not hearing the end of the sentence then. Are you alright? What do you mean? Come on. You call me out in the middle of the night and tell me the well, they start asking questions. Okay. And this is like, yeah. Okay, here's here it is. Okay, I gotta save. I think this is maybe save. Uh, about the. Uh, let's do the gun first. Let's see if this is anything different. Okay, let me see. Let me just s s just quickly go through this. What about the,
a different ending? Please, I, I, I was nice to him. I was nice to you. I gave you the right answers. We get new stuff. New stuff. Can we get new stuff. New stuff. What? No, you mean that's not new. I, 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 I said all the red right answers. Okay, let's see what the calling card. Oh god, his eyes! His eyes! Oh my god. What the fuck? Well, how do you get the different endings? How the fuck do you get? What? Hey, I was nice to you this game. Okay, because I had that choice. What do you mean? Is there anything different? How do you get the other two endings? All right, um, ah, shit. I forgot about the- <laughs> Wait, wait, okay, after this one. Oh, shit, okay, wait. Let me go back to a load and load the previous one. And let me load this one without being nice to him, okay. No, he's doing this on purpose. He wants me to do something stupid. I just give him that. You would like that, what you bitch? It doesn't matter. Not this matter since you decided to come here alone. It's the edge of the voice I didn't notice before. Something sharp and desperate. It suddenly hits me to realize the night jazz. I'm gonna tell him going badly in his job. He didn't know the direction his life was heading. Someone's forcing you to do this, aren't they? <laughs> Wait, can't some good ideas do them just because I want to? You masturbating. You were masturbating all this. At I hastily do the math in my head. 14. I don't believe that. I need too well to believe that. The specific guy don't attack me, his eyes blowing away at the cat like a cat's bounce. You know me, you don't know anything. I know I know you don't want to kill me. I know this is a gamble, probably an insane one, but what choice do I have? It doesn't matter. That's as good as my other mission. Rent. Shido wasn't gonna pass up on the opportunity to get rid of the last black mask on his reputation now. You think I could I could have said dies in my throat. One name, I feel like it just black cat me across the face. Shido? You're working for Shido? But you're making a new insult of yourself. Are you insane? No man is using you. Flash with ir ir irritation again. That's what he thinks. He's in control, but I'm doing his bidding. Bro, uh, based on the game? Nope. He doesn't care. He sneers. It's kind of a black, bald face. Like, excuse me, I curse him after I leave. So, I'm ashamed sure he won't be around enough to see what's coming to him. And I'm blindsided all over again. What are you saying? He took over everything for me when I was just a kid. When he won the election, he thinks he's invincible. What I'm gonna do is the exact thing, thing to him. Everything, including his life. You think it'd be against- I think I'd be against that? What? I despise him since I was old enough to know he existed. He may have not killed my mother with his own hands, but he might as well put the noose around her neck. It makes you think revenge is something you have to do alone. God, it makes you think you have the right. Some of me is turning to be a shell shock from the looks of it. Do you really expect me to believe you, you want to join me after what I've done? You can't possibly think your friends would welcome the black mask with open arms. No, they wouldn't. But I'm not them. Amiya stares, stares at me for a moment, then abruptly starts laughing. For the first time, I, I hurt more than anything that Futaba isn't still listening. You, what a, you're unpredictable, Akechi san. After everything that's happened, you'd abandon your friends like that. You're more ruthless than I thought. Die in prison and screw them over anyway, or get revenge on the man who destroyed my lover's life? Do you really think that's a difficult choice? I try and keep my face cold, neutral, holding eye contact. I know the others will never forgive me for this, but the choices I have, the one means I get out alive, and I'm just freeing from Shido, whatever went before it's been with me. Don't get me wrong, though. 
Will you be joining us or you leave them alone? I'm their leader and I'll take responsibility for everything the Phantom Thieves have ever done. They've already suffered enough. And the rest of the Phantom Thieves decide they need to take on one more shark attack. This won't get in the way. I'm on your side, Joker. Okay. I've learned nothing from my master. Okay, that's another ending. This is the third ending. Yeah, yeah. This is the third ending. Okay, so we have one more ending. One more ending, and hopefully it's the good ending. Okay, we have one more ending to do. It's right here. This cut, okay. Let's do this one, because I think it has the possibility to be an ending. It's doing this on purpose. Yeah, don't you know I love you, man? Okay, let me see this. Ending? Okay, gotta save that. Okay. Okay. This is another ending? We can help you, I guess? Maybe they wouldn't forgive you what you've done, but that doesn't mean we can't help you. He <laughs>, laughs bitterly. Are you they're that naive? I've been lying to you all for months. I plan to kill you. Past tense is a victory, I think. You asked me the other night about whether I still believe we're doing the right thing when the situation is more complicated. I told you that everyone deserves a chance of justice, regardless of what they've done themselves. So I'm not going to speak for, how, for however they're going to feel about you. But I know the others well enough that I don't think I'm going to have any problems convincing them that my piece of shit father is abusing the metaverse and using a teenager as a hitman for, what, his own political gain? Needs dealing with. They don't care who it is who's asking. Amir stares like completely out of my mind and I can't say that's not deserved. Are you posing we steal his heart? He deserves to die, you know that. Hazan never told you why we didn't kill Kamoshida. It wasn't lack of opportunity. If she decided she wanted to shoot his shadow in the head and put an end to it, we could have ridden in your coattails and set off a mental shutdown. We weren't sure that wouldn't happen the way you did it, and I don't think I'd lost any sleep about it if I had. But of course, Phantom Thieves were too noble to stoop to that. No, I wanted him to suffer. That's it. Amiya stops, his mouth still hanging open. She thought dying would be too easy for him. Everyone he'd hurt and abused had taken advantage of had to live what he'd done to them. He deserved to do the same, at least. To live the rest of his life miserable, worthless, life torn apart by guilt. Part of me wonders if even if a change of heart could make my father capable of that, but I couldn't pretend I don't want to find out. And you're proof enough by yourself that he isn't working alone. If he survives, he could bring his cowards down with him, including me. Maybe. What a great deal. If only he had actually proved you did anything. The whole notion of the metaverse would sound ridiculous in court and you're a minor. Going after Shida was one thing, but letting me get away with murder? You really think your friends would call that just? It's not like it'd be in our hands. He forces himself to laugh again. You don't need them. We don't. I can't. <laughs> we don't need them. You could help me. If we work together. I'm trying to help you. I'm a Mia. Ren, I know you don't want to do this. You were having second thoughts about Okumura, and you obviously don't want to kill me. On a particularly risky impulse, I took a step closer to him, reaching out to put a hand on his shoulder. I almost dropped back in surprise when my voice is trembling slightly, but I stay steady. He doesn't move away. Wait! Can this get a little, you know, a little, you know, romantical? Please, can I get a little bit romance up in here? 
I want this to end. Shido, every shitty adult doing his dirty work. Yeah, with others don't agree, then we'll figure something else out. I don't know, but it's not worth it if you can't get away from all of it. And we can't do that alone. How can you just say that? Why do you even care so much? And I know why. <laughs> you better tell him why. I haven't admitted it, even to myself. But as soon as he asks, and as soon as I stop denying the possibility. <laughs> Damn it, Ren! <laughs> Before I could even think it through long enough to stop myself, I caused a short distance to left between us and kiss him! <laughs> I wish this was canon. I wish I wish in the canon game this actually fucking happened. I wish. I wish this was canon in the actual game. But no! Atlas hates gay people! Okay. Before I can think of it through long enough to stop him myself, I close the short distance to left between us and kiss him. <laughs> I wish this happened. I wish, but Atlas hates us. Atlas hates us. Atlas hates gay people. That's why. That's why this doesn't happen. Because Atlas hates gay people. And that's why this doesn't happen. Oh my god, he has earrings. Edgy. <laughs> Edgy. <laughs> but oh my god. I wish. I wish this was canon. <laughs> I wish. Oh, uh, but I get that. Even if they did actually care about gay people, they wouldn't actually do it because, you know, we don't make ships canon. Every pro tag, every character in the game, single. Junpei, his girlfriend's dead. Who's another one with a cannon thing? Okay, June and Tatsu are kind of canon, but like not really, because you have to choose for that. Wait, who else has a, is a canon romance? Who else is a canon romance? Just Junpei, right? Junpei is the only one with a canon romance, and his girlfriend's dead. So literally, literally like every character in our game has to be single because ships. I'm like, just make some of them canon, please. <laughs> please. Don't make, don't make whenever someone has romantic, uh, romantic interest die, please. Mm, but I love this. I love it. I love. Does that answer your, shut up. He tugs me in and kisses me again harder this time. Aww. I've been almost chast, but there could be no mistaking this for that, and I respond just the same way. Pack you! <laughs> it seems like ages before his strong cold and my hair loses and pulls back, his face flushed and his mouth red. You, you make a compelling argument. <laughs> He breaks away from me completely, touching his mouth like he has to confirm what just happened. I was telling you how I was gonna kill you five minutes ago. I don't care, man, I love you too much for that. Don't ruin this. I don't think I'll ever understand you. He smiles. Actually, he smiles as far as I can tell what his smile is, real smile is, and I really want to kiss him again. <laughs> can you trust me anyway? I hold out my hand. Aww! Ren only hesitates for a moment before he reaches out, takes it, and squeezes it. Just give the word, Crow. We'll do this, Joker. Together. I squeeze a rush of energy surging through me, a voice echoing in my ears. Thou is turned a vow into a blood oath. Together. I told Ren before that I could. All I could do was try and believe that we were on the right path. I don't know what this choice will lead us to now. I don't know what the fan of these will make of this, but if this is still gonna end with. If this is still gonna end with Ren and I standing alone. But I don't believe we will. I trust them, even more than I realize. Maybe for the first time since I arrived in Tokyo, I don't have a single doubt in my mind. I've chosen his, this path with him and will follow it to the end. Oh, the good end! We got the good end! We got the best end! We got the true end! Oh, this was so good! This was so good! Bro, 
This is so good. I'm gonna say the writing it was so fucking good. Like literally the writing, I was like, this could actually be in like the fucking game. This could like looks like an actual thing in the game. Just be like, damn. That actually, this actually looks like something that could actually happen. The writing was so good. Applaud! I applaud the writing. I applaud the writing. That, that writing was actually really good. That was actually really good. Oh my god. Of course, I love the story. I love the shipping because you know. I love anything homo. I love all things homo. So, you know, of course I liked it. Shiwake canon. Damn, this? Oh my god. This is holding me. This this is holding me. Like, this is like filling the Shiwake rut that I have because Atlas does not like. Because Atlas, like I said, doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't like. Doesn't do gay uh, romance, romance routes. But yeah. I applaud you, Synthesis. Oh my god, this was this was so good. This was such. This was so fucking good. This was so good. Oh my god, like God, like damn. I applaud this. If if you are a Shuake fan, read this. It's really good. It's really good. I applaud it. I applaud it. <laughs> I applaud it. Now I have to actually play Persona 5 Royal, and uh, be sad because this isn't canon. Even though I should be. Even though I should be, but you know. Whatever. Whatever. Atlas. But yeah. So I'll I'll, I'll be crying about actual Persona 5 Royal and how this does not happen in it. But yeah. See you later. Space on gamers. Bye.